Now I want to do the same configurations using the YAML CI CD pipelines. So for that, how I can do that? Let's see. And this time we will create the pipeline using the YAML CI CD pipeline. So now I will click on the new pipeline. And then I will select the repository with the YAML formats. This time I am choosing the YAML format and this is the our project. And here you select the starter pipeline. Alright, so we have the starter pipeline here. So now you trigger hyphen master pool VM image. This is the default and this Ubuntu I will change to the Windows latest. Windows latest and here we have the steps. So we have the steps all the running Jenkins job and this is the display name so we can update the display name like uh, Jenkins new job okay and you can remove the next steps now here you can scroll down go back little bit there's the hyphen give the space and then you need to select the task okay and then put the colon give this space now here Jenkins so which Jenkins QJob you need to select you can take the help from your notepad which we have copied so this task I need to select the Jenkins QJob at the rate 0 2 okay so this is the Jenkins QJob 0 1 you at the rate 2 okay now click on the settings in this settings you need to do the some configurations Jenkins service connections so we will select our service connections which we have created earlier now here you can provide the job name so we have this build job name the same you can do with your deployment job okay the process is the same so here I am just giving the demo with the build job so you can select the build job and add these properties here okay that's it this is the enough now you can see this is our Jenkins job is here this is the server endpoints build job name now let's save and the run this is the example of the YAML CICD pipelines for the Jenkins service connection and now let's see if I can see the new job got triggered or not so now here I need to see the job 11 build job 11 should trigger automatically here so let me see the job is getting started or not so now this is the job in the queue I will click on this job now this needs the permission to access the resource before this run can conditions so I will view this one and let's permit this one okay so now let me see if the Jenkins job is triggered or not okay so the build job 11 is automatically triggered and if I go and job and if I see the status of this job so initialize the job check out the student code and Jenkins queue job and now it's getting started you can see the job is getting started on the Jenkins server and here also it's updating the output okay so like that the Jenkins server and this is our Azure DevOps are communicating to each other through the service connections and the service connections we use always the API token okay so we use the API token here right so now the job is got completed and the build is also executed successfully you can see the build success is there now this is your job name okay this is your build number and now here we have the successfully executed now this job we trigger through the YAML CICD pipelines so like that you can use the Jenkins task in the YAML CICD pipelines to build your job through the Jenkins now here again the one more 
challenges there. So if anyone want to trigger the Jenkins job on the Jenkins server, what they need to do, they need to come here. Okay. And then manually they should click on the run the pipeline. Okay. This is the manual process. We don't want this one. We want the automatic process. So for that, we need the service hooks. What the service hooks will do? Service hooks will help us to achieve the continuous integration process to trigger the Jenkins build on the Jenkins server. And what is the CI process? Continuous integration process means in someone in the team will commit the code in the repository, either on the Git repository, a Bitbucket repository, GitHub repository, or Azure repository, the Jenkins job to trigger automatically. So for that, we use the service hooks that we will see in the next lecture how we can use the service hooks to build our job completely.